In this video, I will show you how I made this slide out table. Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Durak, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. I'm going to show you guys how far I got with the table yesterday. So I'm going to show you what I did and what I'm going to do to finish it and hopefully have an amazing table. So here you can see what I finished yesterday. So I cut out this hole here into the entire beam as you can see. Took a little bit of time but it's working and then under we have this wide piece of wood and then attached to it is this smaller oh wait no that's the wrong one is <laughs> this smaller one this is this belongs to the bed is this smaller one which is going to keep it in place and I put this in between because I want to have this in here to stop it from damaging the table but I had to know the size so these are in here but they are still loose so I can attach them later on so the it should oh crap I want to say it should work but then it didn't move oh no okay I needed some help so it slides out and it's sitting on the railing like that and hopefully this will not damage the wood in the future. It might damage it on the bottom. But I won't be able to see that. So what I want to do now, I'm going to put it back. Oh, it's tough to put back. But it's better if it's a little bit sturdy because then it will move when we're driving. Oh, so what I want to do today is finish the back so that it can't slide too far down and then put stuff over here to keep it in place the issue we have now that if it's out too far it'll go like this so i have to prevent that so this is what i'm planning to do attach that in the back and then um attach these like this and if i would now attach one of these pieces of wood onto here that will keep it snug onto this one so that's the plan and because it's all resting on this little piece of wood right now i'm going to cut this one to size put it in the back here oh wait in the back here to attach this to these two on so they keep in place and this will make it more sturdy and more it will have more to sit on because this is just wobbly and this isn't perfect for this so putting this large slat behind here is going to make a world of difference okay so this is what i made i put one over there and i put these two on here and the idea is that i'm going to also put a little slide on this table which will prevent it from sliding all the way out and stop it in the back and keep it secure on this so that it won't tilt but I attached these and now the table is not budging so I'm going to have to do some troubleshooting here I already undid the screws a little bit in the back and on here to see if this could be the issue I don't really understand what is going on because I didn't really do anything um, except for these but there's still space here so I don't see how this could be the issue I don't know why the table isn't moving I'm thinking I made if I might have screwed something into the table but I can't see where okay what I discovered is that that side oh once I got it loose I discovered that that side wanted to come up which is maybe telling me that this beam might be lower on this side than it is on that side so that it's pulling this down 
which is making that corner, because it wouldn't fit in that corner anymore, this corner, <laughs> too low, which is keeping it tight. So what I decided to do is put this piece of wood on. That's the piece of wood that has been attached to the table to prevent it from sliding out all the way, to prevent it from sliding too far back, and to keep it um, attached to this so that it won't tilt, so that my drink won't fall off my table. So here I can show you the idea about this sliding under these, which keeps the table secure i can now lean on it and it won't of course there's always a little bit of wobble but it won't fall so that's the idea but the thing is it's moving way too heavy so i have these rings that i got yesterday so i'm putting some of these rings under some places to see if I can level it out a little bit to make it slide easier. What I can also do, because it's wood on wood, is put this fabric under there, which will make it slide easier. But So I took the table out and I lined this with the felt, hopefully. This will not lift it up too much. I, I have room to go wider, but I don't really have room to go up. Well, I can make it go up, but that's just hard work, so I don't want to do that. So, yeah, let's see if this will do the job to make it slide easier. So, I put these rings in between to make it secure keep it in place so the table is working pretty well it is sliding out if I slide it out further it starts to tilt because I still haven't made anything under here to keep it up but because I lowered it Now the basket won't slide out. <laughs> you can hear it. You can hear my voice, I'm getting frustrated. But what I can do is cut this out a little bit higher and then make everything sit a little bit higher and then that problem will have been taken care of. But as you all saw, this cutting this out was hard work. Plus this beam that we're cutting out, this one, it's just getting smaller and it also has a function and that function is making sure you can sit on the bed and that you do not crack it when you sit in it so I'm so frustrated with this because it was finally it was finally starting to work look it's actually doing pretty good <coughs> oh my god this is turning into a video with a lot of troubleshooting, but that's okay. So I'm going to take the entire table thing out. So I'm so happy that I did that, that I'm so bummed that I have to do it all over again. But I'll just do it because I don't see another way. I got these profile thingies. I think this is going to be easier than cutting this and then having to make that stronger. So I'm going to be using this profile. Um, luckily, the store I went to got it in 210 centimeters and they got they could cut it for me. So it is nicely cut. And then maybe I don't even need to have the stuff on top to keep it from tilting because it's stuck in this profile. So this is probably even a better way of doing it, but this in the end is more expensive than using only the wood. So the wood, like this, is a budget type of table, slide out table, and this hopefully will be a better solution, just slightly more expensive. This profile, which was 210 centimeters long, cost me about 18 euros. 
So I am going to now figure out how to be using this one. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. What I did was I have this profile. I made a hole in this side. I attached this piece of wood on there so that I could attach the wood on the on this because I had no way to attach this directly because it's not a big deal to draw, drill a hole in here but it is a big deal to then put it on somewhere and try and drill your, get your screw in like that because my screwdriver won't bend that way so I decided to attach it to this and then attach that on this point on this point and I'm going to also make an end point somehow yeah I'm going to put wood in here and then just drill it drill it from the side so that this will stop on there and now the only thing I need to do is get a piece of uh, aluminium that will fit on here to support the front part because the front part is floating so it is a little bit wobbly let me show you how it comes out needs a little bit of a push but then but then it slides and this part is still usable so this locks it so it doesn't go any further it's pretty sturdy but I think that it will be more sturdy if it will be supported there you see I'm going to make this part green so it doesn't stand out that much as you can see it is not as low anymore I did cut out a piece over there that I didn't need so I uh, I'm going to make that green so it doesn't really you don't really notice it anymore now for the moment supreme This makes it way easier. I'm super happy. This was way easier than what I did before. It's just more expensive. So the other way is also really nice. But this seems to be working awesome. So I just went to the store to get this piece of metal, which is hard. So it doesn't bend very easy. At first I was looking at uh, aluminium, but I was thinking that aluminium can bend and so it's not that strong so I thought I would take this so I also got a little drill to make sure I had the right thing this is a four millimeter metal drill thingy which is gonna be sharp so I'm going to be using this to drill some holes in here which is going to sit under the table at the beginning you are so it's going to sit right over uh, <laughs> going to sit right over there to keep the table um, from flipping down a little bit you are going to be able to see it which I don't really like but I need the table to stay put this is what it looks like when you are <laughs> doing a couple of things at the same time in your van Okay, so I have I am now attaching this uh, metal bar under here. I put some rings in between because it was making it impossible to slide out. See, I put some rings in there. I had a belt laying around that I didn't use. So I cut a piece off, which is now on here. And this provides me with the uh, stuff to pull. I had this stuff laying around. So now I can slide it. Put it back. Now it can still go too far. But I'm going to make a thingy in the end. To make it stop. But now I'm first going to paint everything. This is what it's looking like with the oil on it. 
and I am now going to rub it out so it's not that shiny anymore. I think it looks really nice. Here's what it's looking like from the front. And this is what it looks like when you pull it out, which I think is absolutely, it's so gorgeous. It fits so well with the floor and with the couch and with the basket. So I'm super happy about it. It does make a little bit of a sound when you put it back. Oh, yesterday it made more sound. So now I'm going to decide where it's going to sit. I'm going to have it a little bit more to the back because if I make it totally flush, You still see this little brown uh, edge, so I like it to be just a tiny bit more back, like that, so you don't see the wood color. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Oh my god. Looking so nice. Let me see. This is still. Yes. I have to attach this one. I'm eyeballing it to be straight. This piece of wood is going to stop the table from coming out by stopping at this piece of wood. So I'm going to put a little bit of felt on here so that when the wood comes all the way over here, it stops on this. So it doesn't make a lot of noise and it just pr protects both that little sled and this part. So this is what it's looking like right now. And now I'm going to take the table out to test it. Here you can see what I meant. Because these two are going to be sitting together. This felt is going to protect them. This is what it's looking like right now, which is absolutely incredible. See, and that's how far it goes. That works very well. This is going to be perfect for my laptop. It's a little bit higher than a normal table, but I like it. I think it's also a very nice height to work on a laptop. I absolutely love it. So excited thank you guys for watching my video if you have any questions please comment down below if you could give this video a like that will be amazing and i'll see you in the next video in the next video i'm going to be showing you how i got started on my kitchen i'll see you in the next one and in the meantime don't forget to say yes to noob adventures